y'all know how I feel about these homes that are too tight. I can't really show you the exterior. So what we're gonna do is go on into the house and see what it looks like, okay? Excuse the clanking, I got my, my drink in my hand, but hey, let's go see what the Augustine looks like. Okay, beautiful. We'll set the drink there. Get rid of that noise. And this is the Augustine, you guys. So pretty. We just came in from the front door there. So much space in here. I love it. I absolutely love how much space you have in the living room. You can kind of make it what you want, but you can... Y'all know I like to change my furniture around whenever, you know, I get the notion to. And you have enough space in here to do that. You have, you can put your TV on either wall. You can put it in the corner on the wall so it can rotate. And then that allows you to move the furniture around where you want it to. Lots of space in here. I could see me decorating it. I, I wouldn't feel... Um, in a pinch when I decorate it, right? It's enough space for a single wide. It's enough space in here for you to make it nice and allow it to be whatever you choose it to be. So really lovely. The Augustine is a three bedroom, two bath out here at Wayne Fryer Homes in Albany, Georgia. And it is beautiful already. And you guys, let me tell you before we even get started, if you are near Wayne Fire Homes in Albany and you decide to come out and take a look if you purchase and you tell them that Christy from Homes and Things sent you the furniture package is free so check it out you guys you can't beat that now you have this peninsula here that separates the kitchen from the living room beautiful because you can put two or three bar stools tall bar stools there that creates extra seating space you have an eating kitchen you have a lovely window to sit beside uh, with your eating station. And you still have plenty of room to move around the kitchen. So how lovely is that? Really pretty. The cabinets in this one are white, but you can get brown cabinets uh, if you choose. I believe the decor picks that I'll play at the end have this kitchen in brown. So really, really nice absolutely i love it the uh sink is cattle corner which i love i absolutely love it i can see exactly how i would decorate this kitchen so really pretty not very often that you see a manufactured home that has the peninsula versus the island which is really nice to see it's also nice to see that you have this designated space that you could create like a, a buffet or um, a drink station or whatever you choose to do in this area you have lots of room to do it i see a really pretty uh drink station with my coffee and tea and different syrups and things like that and being able to decorate for the seasons or um be able to decorate it in different ways and make it really really pretty is really nice so really lovely Love the bright um, space in here. You have your laundry room off the kitchen and your back door, which is always a plus to have it right off the kitchen. Lots of space in here for your washer and dryer. And if you choose to put additional um, storage units or um, a deep freezer in here, you could try to work that out as well because the laundry room is in its own little cubby. So really nice. We'll give one more spin around and then we'll go check out some more of the house. All right, let's take a, a walk back through the kitchen and living room and we'll check out the additional bedrooms opposite um, the living room. Down this hallway, you'll find the additional bedrooms and bathrooms. So we'll go take a look at that now. The first room on, on the left is your first bedroom. 
a nice size bedroom, enough space to do whatever you need to do. It'd be great for the kids. It'd be great for office. You've got a nice window in here and a standard closet. So really nice bedroom. So that's bedroom number one. all right so now that we have viewed the first additional bedroom the next room is at the, the uh, additional bath slash guest bathroom not very much light in here but i hope it's bright enough for you to see it's a standard um bathroom excuse the i think a light bulb or the lampshade uh probably fell in transit um, and they hadn't had the opportunity to get it up yet. But as I, so I couldn't really walk in. But as you can see, it's a nice size bedroom. And then next to it is the second bedroom, which is um, is larger than the first bedroom. So this is also a nice size room. If you only needed one of the bedrooms for um, your family, then the other bedroom I definitely would make an office. Uh, but this is a nice bedroom. You can even put two twin beds in here. So really lovely. All right, you got another standard closet in this second bedroom. And so now that we have reviewed both of the secondary bedrooms, We'll take a look at the other side of the house and take a look at the primary. As we walk back through um, this home, I just wanted to point out the fact that they have a ceiling fan in this living room. I don't think I mentioned it before. That's always a plus for me because I think of ventilation. I'm sitting at the house right now and all the windows are open and the air is just blowing through. And it'd be really nice to have a ceiling fan just to circulate the air even more. So it's always nice when it comes with it. You don't have to buy one or have one installed. It actually comes inside the home. So really lovely. If you're currently shopping for a home and you've been out looking, then you feel me when I say that because a lot of times you, when you purchase a home, the, the blinds don't even come in. That has to be at an additional you know, cost to you. So when those extra things are in, it's really a plus. So this is a primary bedroom. You have a beautiful, nice size bedroom. Lovely. This is really a nice size bedroom for a single wide home. You could fit a king size bed in here which is always a plus lots of room if you needed a nursery inside of this room you have space for that just really really nice size bedroom and, and that made me really happy give you an idea to see the bedroom from the opposite side first things first the primary closet is a really nice size walk-in closet and it's separate from the bathroom and they have shelving on both sides now all we need is a little strip of shelving in the back you can even put that halfway down put one at the top and one halfway down for things um that like pants and stuff blouses on the top pants on the bottom that sort of thing but really nice closet you also have a beautiful primary bathroom it only had one sink in here honestly i would ask if it was an option to order this house with two but if it isn't you have lots of uh 
counter space which is a plus and you have a huge shower and it's nicely tiled so well done that is a beautiful shower lots of space in there it doesn't have seating but maybe that's something if you're ordering this house that's something that you could um add a nice uh rain shower shower head and some seating and you have a good shower right there because who wants to try to get those feet standing up you can sit and scrub those toes and let the water run through them very nice your toilet sits over here opposite or on the other side of the shower and lots of space in this primary uh bathroom so well done really lovely doesn't have a tub but if you need to use a tub you can always use the bathroom on the other side of the house so really lovely so this is the primary again you have the primary bath the uh, closet is separate in here and you have a nice size bedroom so really lovely so again you guys we've been touring the augustine it's out at wayne fryer homes in albany georgia beautiful three bedroom two bath single wide home the good folks at wayne fryer homes in albany welcome anyone to come out and view these homes and if you make a purchase just by saying christy from homes and things sent you you will receive a free furniture package so that is always a plus you guys it's always nice to get free stuff and a furniture package at that so really lovely listen if you made it to the end of the video drop a purple heart down in the comment section let me know you watched this video to the end they don't post prices here so you would have to look in the description box and get their information but thank you so much for viewing this tour keep watching these tours you guys the single wives that I have coming up next week or coming up in a few days are absolutely beautiful. So that's going to do it for this tour. We'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.